this is my uh, my reptile room. Uh, I got a, a couple of nice displays. Um, this is my bearded dragon, uh, Wang. Uh, he's really, really uh, awesome. I got him uh, back in December when he was a really, really small baby. Uh, as you can see, I have him jacked up on like really high quality um, uh, proteins that I give him. Like I give him Madagascar cockroaches. I give him, uh, yeah, hi, Wang. I give him, uh, you know, Madagascar cockroaches. Um, he eats a lot of hornworms. Uh, I, I try to limit the, the mealworms that I give him because I know it's not, you know, too many is not too good for him. He eats a lot of crickets and he also eats a lot of um, like mustard greens and different kinds of lettuces. And, you know, every once in a while I'll give him some uh, watermelons and some apples, which he likes to eat by hand. Uh, he's really, really funny. He, he's a real character. He likes to, um, he really likes attention. Uh, he likes to take baths. And uh, he actually likes one of my cats. My cat's uh, my cat is a Devon Rex. His name's Figs. And um, it, no matter where Figs is, you know Wang will follow him on the couch, and he'll go. It'll actually jump on him and lay with him, and they they, they hang out together all the time. So um, yeah, he's really really he's a he's a character. He's really really a funny uh, bearded dragon. He's really really cool, really friendly. He likes likes a lot of attention. Um, here I got um really can't see it too well. I could probably shine a light in there. Uh, I got a um. Rose here, tarantula. Uh, I used to have a lot of tarantulas when I was younger. Uh, I kind of left the hobby for a little bit, but um, getting back into it, you know, I, I like to just balance out what I have. But um, so yeah, that's my uh, my rose here. I got one of these uh, Exo Tetra tanks, which are really really good. There's never escape from these. Uh, like my python, he likes to escape the, his tank all the time, no matter what kind of weights I put on top of it. He gets out uh, up here. I don't know if you can see it too well. I got a. Um, Really look in there real carefully. You got a, I got a Arizona blonde, which is still kind of young, maybe less than a year old. Um, he's really, really kind of doesn't move much. He's kind of boring. Um, he's more he acts more arboreal. He likes to hang up in the uh, up on the wall and up in the tree. Um, he's really kind of boring. He doesn't really move at all. But he's he's you know I've held him a few times. He's pretty friendly. Um, this is my uh, my ball python. Um, Nathan Junior, just a stupid name or whatever I came up with. Um, He's been really, really active lately. He's been, he just does, he's, I think he's got kind of like ADHD. He doesn't sit still at all. He's always on the go. Um, he, he, he's a, escapes his tank about three times. He's always goes under the radiator. And, um, you know, I, I have one cool, one cool side with a heater under it. And then I have a, you know, I mean, a, a hot side with a heater under it, um, which is about three inches under it. So it gives him, you know, heat and it's not too hot. Then I have obviously the cool side and he's, He's always on the go. He's, he, he likes he likes attention too. He likes to be handled a lot, um, but he also likes to uh, escape his cage no matter. I put a bunch of things on top of it, and uh, he still seems <laughs> seems to get out. It's kind of a thing in the middle here, so I really can't um, get locks for it because it won't work. And then I got my um, my Brooks King Snake, which I just got him a couple of days ago. He is an awesome snake. He's really really um, super friendly. Um, Actually, try to feed him some live today, uh, live feeder rat, and he really didn't seem to respond well to it. He doesn't seem to be an aggressive eater. Um, I think maybe at the when I, when they had him at the uh, at the store, they probably you know either force fed him or, or tongue fed him frozen, which I did. Or I did that after I tried to get him to eat the live, and he he took right to it. So he uh, he's really 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 pretty. You can see the markings on him. He really likes to be held a lot. He likes to go in his. Uh, his water, um, his little drinking thing, and take a lot of baths, especially after you holding after you hold him. He seems to have some kind of OCD where he'll go into his water and he'll kind of uh, do like a, he'll he'll run around and he'll like he'll swim around in circles like he's trying to wash himself off. So he's really really cool. I really like him a lot. He's really fun to hold and he seems to uh, he's got a really cute face on him. But uh, yeah, I really like him. And then I got last but not least, I got a uh, I just bought him. Uh, he's my uh, my corn snake I, with the rat that the other snake didn't need. I put it right in here, and it was gone within seconds. Well, I should say squeezed out within seconds. He uh, he, he he's a very aggressive feeder. Uh, he's really pretty cool to handle. He's kind of fast if you let him go, uh, but he's he's really really a beautiful corn snake. Um, I'm obviously I just got him. Um, I'm gonna get him. Have to get him a bigger tank because I was originally gonna buy a Goliath uh, tarantula and get put him in this uh, 20 gallon, but um, I didn't really feel like spending three hundred dollars on a, on a tarantula, so, especially for something that's not too holdable. So I ended up getting him instead. He's really cool, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, and I got some, I got some other cool stuff in my in my room. That thing lights up. 
uh, kind of in the horror movie shit. Uh, I got the Shining poster, and I got my uh, my buddy Jake Pila, coolest kid I know, one of the toughest dudes I know. He uh, he's a local MMA fighter, really cool guy. Uh, but yeah, this is this is pretty much it. So uh, got a couple of supply, you know, extra. I always keep extra stuff on hand, and um, I'm kind of glad that this room isn't any bigger because if it was, I would probably uh, you know, not uh. I have a million other things, so I think it's time for me to, to stop buying so much stuff. <laughs> but I use it, you know, for my computer room and stuff. It's you know, it's, it's kind of like a small extra bedroom is pretty much what it what I was going to get it for. But, oh, hope you guys like it.